Hello and welcome to today's Caffeine Corner. We're going to talk about the Vanderbilt Stakes. It's on Saturday and it's at Saratoga. It's for older sprinters. The favorite's going to be Italy Volatile. And he's moving up in the ranks. He recently won the Aristide Stakes at Churchill Downs by eight lengths. And it wasn't just that he won by eight lengths. It was the way he did it. He stalked the pace. And then when the rider asked him to go in the stretch run, he just pulled away. It, it, it was like watching a rocket in the stretch. So he earned a 124 time farm US speed figure. I'm sure he earned a high figure on Brees Net as well. And I think he's yeah. going to be hard to beat. He's going to stalk the leaders and he's going to take over on the turn. And I just don't think they're fast enough to catch him. What do you think? Yes, Volatil is one of the best printers today. And yes, I think he's going to win this race. It's a short field and he's in very top form. He recorded a 109 speed figure, according to Brisnet. In the last race, yes, he, he was very fast in the stretch. He showed a, a lethal turn of foot. So. I think he's going to win this one and not, then he's going to run another prep and will be ready for the busy sprint. Surely he's going to be one of the main contenders in the, in the Breeders' Cup sprint. Does the lack of greatest stakes experience bother you? The sprint division is not very strong, I think. So this horse, I think, is going to win easily this race and we'll be ready for the for the visit print in November. Yeah, I agree. I think I think he could be the next Vitoli, who was also a very talented Asmussen horse. And I have nothing against Volatile except well in the stretch run he took a while to switch leads, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna knock him for that because he won by so many lengths. So I'm sure he's still learning and he could improve. Yeah, he won by eight lengths and showing a very explosive turn of foot. Let's talk about Ferenze Fire. He has been with Kelly Breen for two starts now. Uh, he was fourth in the Carter, but he improved a little bit in the True North Stakes. He won that race by a length and a half over Stan the Man. I don't know if, if Stan the Man is that good. But I guess it was an improvement. I don't think he's at the level he was under service. Uh, what do you think of Forensic Fire? I think he's back into his form. According to Brisness, he recorded again a triple digits speed figure. Okay, in the Carter, he recorded a 96. And in the True North, it was 104. I think he's getting into his form. And he's going to show some speed in this race. He showed speed last year in the in the Vanderbilt against Imperial Hint. That was a four horse field. Well, this is a, another short field. He tried hard and then that race he and just lost by a nose. He showed speed and forced the pace. He, he was in a space duel with Imperial hint. But I think we talk today volatile is better than Imperial Hint last year. Uh, I think Friends of Fire is okay. Uh, I don't like him to win. Uh, I guess he could finish second or third. I, I think he wants Belmont Park though, even though he did win the Sanford Stakes a couple of years ago in 2017. I think Friends of Fire is more of a fan of Belmont Park. No, I don't like him to win either. But yes, I think he's going to show some speed this time, and I like him for second place. Let's talk about Whitmore. He's going to be either the second or third choice, probably the second choice. And he's seven years old, so he's kind of old, but he's on a two-race win streak, and he won the Count Fleet Stakes at Oakland Park. And he also won, what was that, the Hot Springs at Oakland uh, those were good races, I guess. He won over Flagstaff, and he won over Mr. Mr. Jägermeister and Wendell Fong. 
in the other race. Uh, I just don't think he's fast enough to be volatile, though. What do you think? Yeah, he's not fast enough to win this race. I think he needs some pace, and the race lacks of that pace. He's a veteran who is very consistent, of course. But I don't see him winning this race. He's going to hit the board second or third place. Likely a third place for me. I think the same thing. So let's move on to Mind Control, who's on the outside. And this is actually a grade one winner. He won the Alan Jerkin Stakes on this course last summer. And he also is a multiple graded stakes winner. He has a couple of grade three wins, including the Toboggan this year and the Tom Full Stakes at Aqueduct. And his his run in the Carter was kind of disappointing. He was sixth by 17 lengths to Vacoma. Uh, what do you think of his Carter effort? Is there an excuse? Yeah, an excuse could be the for face. It was a sloppy track. That is the thing. And he was coming off a three-month layoff. But I really think six furlong is too sharp for him. He's better on, you know, on seven furlong races. Maybe I think he's going to improve a bit. And he's not going to be ready for this race. Yeah, the excuse is that. Maybe the sloppy track and the layoff. But as I said, I don't see him winning because six furlong is too sharp for him on a uh, grade one level. He won the tongue full, okay? That was on seven, six furlongs. So this is a higher level. Right. Uh, I, will say, I will say that Carter was a key race, sort of, because Vekoma won the Met Mile, Network Effect was second in the Met Mile, and Frente Fire won his race in the True North. So uh, a couple of horses won out of that race, but I don't know. He, he just lost by too many lengths for me, 17 lengths. So I, I don't think he can win. I think he's going to move forward, but not to win, especially because this is not his best distance. What do you think of Lexitonian? He barely held off Hog Creek Hustle in an allowance race at Churchill Downs. And two starts back, he was 10th in the Count Fleet Stakes, uh, 15 lengths behind Whitmore. And I just don't think he's good enough. It, this horse is outclassed to me. How about you? I don't know. Those Columbus horse, horses are in every stakes. I think he's a great three or great two at his best, not a great one caliber. He's not good enough for, for this field. Right. Yeah, you can toss out Lexitonian. I don't think either of us are going to use him at all. So let's wrap this up. Um, the volatile is going to win. It's just a matter of how many likes he's going to win by. Um, the price might not be the best, but you have to use him if you're going to play this race. How about you? Wrap it up. No, it's, the winner would be the favorite, volatile. And my second choice is Firenze Fire. And third choice, Whitmore. It's difficult. They're very tough to work in this race because the favorite looks very strong. Right. I think you could use any horse underneath except for Lexitonian. If you want to use Whitmore underneath, uh, you want to use Frenzy Fire or Mind Control, either of them could finish second, but um, not Lexitonian. He's not going to hit the board. No. My Colt, my Colt Exacta is volatile and Firenze Fire. I don't know how he's he going to pay, I don't know, $6? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I'll have to watch a tote board to see what's the right Exacta to play. Uh, we'll see. It'll be volatile over one of them underneath. Um, I'll have to study it. Okay, yes, well, it would be very tough to beat the favorite, so. Okay, that's our, that's our show for today, and thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to donate to both of us if you win listening to yeah. our picks. Otherwise, have a good weekend, and hope you hit some winners. Okay, have a nice weekend.